Yep. Hydraulic fluid. Hey. It has been a fun week. So I got a couple things that I learned and uh, I want to share with you guys today. So first up, I kind of want to show the difference between power, uh, between what I'm running and uh, with the turbo and what I ran with the NA. One of the things I want to call out first though is my wastegate pressure. I had a couple of people reach out to me and ask questions about this. I will bluntly say it's not that impressive. But you can see right here on the 19th when I ran it, wastegate, it would kind of activate right there just below 130 kPa and then it would drop down all the way to 120 kPa. So that's not very impressive at all. I mean, so basically right there, at the end of that wastegate kind of run, look, it dropped below five PSI. That's not very good at all. Uh, but at the beginning of it, it was closer to about 41. So it was closer to about six PSI, which is about what I expected. So I really think that uh, a wastegate is going to help solve that. Uh, so in this case, if I come back here, here's a more recent one. All I did was a bleed, a bleed valve, and uh, I kind of set that in there, and you can see really quick. I'll move this one up here. And it did kind of the same action. So the wastegate hits its initial pressure. This time I took it up to closer to 142 uh, kPa. But you can see down here by the end of it, it's dropped that 10. It's kind of bled off from there. So anyway, uh, we'll get that up, but at that point it's about six PSI before it's closer to a little bit about seven. It's time to get that uh, boost valve wired in. So that's coming up. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and open up Virtual Dyno. This time I'm not really caring about the overall horsepower number. I'm not trying to, to prove anything with this car. It's just a fun car. And keep in mind, this is a junkyard block. The, uh, the bottom end that I'm running on this engine is literally a $200 junkyard block so it's not much at all and then I have another $200 junkyard block and then a third block which is an F54 so eventually I'll get through to the ones I like let's start off here so what I'll do is I'll open up the very first one uh, so in this case I'll open up the one one of the best ones I ever did with the NA setup so in this case I'm gonna go ahead and load up another run and uh, what I'll do is I'll pick the very first actual pull I did in the car uh, once it was turboed. And that happened here. I'll go ahead and pull this one up and I'll kind of talk through the differences. So you'll notice here, look at how much it just, you see the boost hit kind of levels off and uh, kind of dip down. And part of the reason why is I was just tuning, doing a lot of tuning. Um, it wasn't quite where I needed everything to be and uh, still had a lot to sort out there. Uh, so in this case, uh, go ahead and I'll open up another run. This one I decided to push the timing just a hair and it was actually kind of fun. Uh, in this case, I gave it a couple degrees of timing. I ended up backing off because when I pulled the plugs, I wasn't very happy with it. But you can see here, just look at how the horsepower just keeps going up. Um, I did back off the throttle a little bit early, so that's part of the reason why it started dipping down and the boost started dropping off a little bit on that log. Uh, in this case, I'll load one of the more final ones. Uh, here's one of the most recent ones that we did. You can see here's kind of the happy medium. I've been able to get up there, <coughs> get a little bit better, uh, able to continue the, the horsepower pull to the end. Um, this is just as I'm working through things, making it a little bit better and better every day. So I'm getting it tuned out, getting it where I like. Like I said, this green one looks really great, but it's lower and it was me playing around with the timing. And I backed off just a bit because I got a little afraid of what I saw in the spark plugs. So I probably in my head, but I thought I saw little signs of detonation just barely. So I backed off to, to play safe. I get a knock sensor and uh, for those of you who don't notice uh, you know speed we know talking up a standalone knock sensor the other day and showed a little quick video of him playing around that looks really uh, interesting and exciting so that's something I want to play around with I had to ride my motorcycle today the reason why is because my car decided to uh, well mark its territory well I took the car out for a drive and the clutch became obnoxious so i just barely got it home pulled it in the driveway and look a little leak it's coming straight from the slave cylinder let's take a peek yep hydraulic fluid hey. 
Luckily it's under warranty. This thing failed me about a year ago while a different part, but I ended up replacing everything at the same time. So anyway, that's the joy of old cars. Just another thing. Yay. As you can see there, the uh, the clutch cylinder, it just gave out the slave cylinder, not the slave, clutch cylinder, but uh, the slave cylinder started leaking out through the end, uh, past the piston, and uh, right through the rubber boot. So what I'm thinking happened is uh, I just wore it out. And uh, it was kind of always a little bit goofy. It felt different. The last one I had was always tight. Uh, you could feel a lot of resistance as you push the pedal. This one, it felt really easy to push the pedal. Always made me wonder if uh, the piston didn't quite fit in there quite as snug as it should have. Anyway, uh, this past week I found out, or the other day, on Saturday, I found out that uh, that was the issue. So anyway, I've got a uh, new clutch slave cylinder coming in and I'll get that installed and we'll be back up and running. I did take the time to do some wiring, cleaning up things, having a little fun there and uh, making the car overall better. So take a look here. Here's some of the fun that I had with uh, cleaning up, doing the case on the Speedwino and getting everything mounted. So there's my little mistake. Kind of embarrassment is more of what I'll call it. So when I originally did this, I went ahead and I kept testing it out. So I used these little quick kind of screw-in terminals to test everything. Everything worked great, and I just haven't gone back to fix it. So now it's time I go back and fix that with a proper case. So coming back to this, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, basically pulling all of those. Woo! So I went ahead and finished up the wiring. You can see here I've got it all wired out. I've got things put together. Um, got screw terminals on there now. Eventually I'll go back with the Weatherpack 1 pigtail and add that in there. Uh, DB37 maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking Weatherpack is what I'm leaning at. But I've got it all ready to go. I'm going to use the screw terminals. I'm doing things a little bit differently so I wanted to test it out. Make sure everything's going to work out well first before I permanently wire it in. So I'm just doing my right, step so by step. I made a mess. Time to clean it all up. I'm going to simplify things. I'm going to loom it all, but now since I've changed and had all the injectors go underneath, it's a perfect time to go in there and clean up the wiring. Let's see how she turns out. Getting there. Got the wiring a little more cleaned up, looking a little nicer. Got it pulled into the car, and uh, yeah, that looks gross. It's all labeled though. We'll go to the glove box, and uh, we'll get everything tucked in and make it work well. Uh, the one thing I will have to do is kind of work on the vacuum line. Probably need to get that extended just a bit and get that good to go. As always, thanks for hanging in there. I've got a lot of fun things to do. Uh, next up is going to be boost controller. So I'm excited to get that thing uh, wired in there, figured out, and uh, up and running. Definitely gonna love seeing if I can get that a little more stable in the sense of uh, holding my boost pressure. So I'm really excited for that, to give that a shot. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments and uh, talk to you guys next week.